Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Ellipse Security. Today we're going to be going over how to add a BNC camera or a set of cameras to a Uniview NVR. So we're going to be taking an XVR, a Uniview XVR, and adding those cameras to a Uniview NVR. I know it sounds weird, but stick with me. There are good reasons for this and we'll go over those in just a minute. So let's go over the equipment that we're using today. We are using an XVR 30104Q for our XVR, and our demo system is a 32 channel uh, NVR 304-32X. Now it does have to be at least a 32 channel, and I'll, again, I'll get to that in a bit. So let's go over the process, and then we'll go over a couple of questions that we get asked fairly often about these. So a couple things to note while we're in Easy Tools. Uh, also, just as an aside, if you don't have Easy Tools yet and you don't know what it is, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Check it out. We're going to have a, a full video on Easy Tools coming up soon, so watch out for that as well. Um, but a couple things to note. We're going to note our 32 channels IP address. We're also going to note the four channel IP address. Now you can do this with four, eight, or 16 channels um, as far as your XVR. But again, the NVR has to be a 32 channel, at least. It could be 32, 64, or higher. Okay, so let's go over this process real quick. We're going to start by logging into our NVR because again, that's our target, right? So here's our 32 channel dot four nine. We're going to open a browser we're going to go to 10.1.10.49. We're going to go ahead and log in. We're going to go into our setup menu and then directly into our camera menu. And we're going to go to add. Add mode is going to be IP address. Protocol is going to be Uniview. IP address. This is going to be our XVR's IP. So if we come here, we're going to see that it's 10.1.10.95. So we're going to put that in 10.1.10.95. Your network is probably going to be different. Port number. Ours is 80. We're going to leave that alone. Now, again, your network may be different. If it is, change this. If you don't know, leave it alone. Just go ahead and leave it as 80. That's your default HTTP port. It's good to go. Username is going to be admin. And then the password for your XVR. Total camera number is going to be the total number of cameras that you're adding from your XVR to your NVR. So if you have a four channel XVR with two cameras, you're going to drop this down and select two because you're adding two cameras. If you have an 8-channel XVR with 7 cameras, you're going to select 7. But what happens if you have a 16-channel with 7 cameras? You're just going to add 7. I mean, that's, that's, that's it. So since we have 2, we're going to change that back to 2. The R selected, so we're going to hit save. It's going to take us right back to the camera menu, and you're going to see that these are attempting to connect. So it's kind of like when you add an IP camera to an NVR that's plug and play. You plug it in, turns blue, starts trying to connect. So we're going to give this a few more seconds and then we're going to hit refresh. And there we go. They've turned green. And we can come up here to live view, select 10 and 11, and we can see them pop right up. Look at that. There's our beautiful warehouse wall and ceiling. What are the advantages of this? Well, let's say you have a customer that has a, an 8-channel XVR with 8 cameras, but they want to upgrade to a 24-camera system. But they've only got money for 16. A 16-channel IP system. And that's all they got. Like, But they need 24. Or they want 24, rather. You can supplement the 
camera install with the eight cameras that are already existing. And now not only have you saved time, you've saved your customer money. And now when they need to upgrade the other ones, or if they want to expand their system further, they're going to think of you. Win-win, right? That's the biggest advantage here. Or let's say you are... You're not going to run into this residentially most of the time because most residential applications aren't going to use a 32 channel NVR, period. It just doesn't happen very often. So questions we get asked frequently. Does the DVR still record? Yes, it totally does. And that means you get free redundant storage on those two or four or eight or 16 cameras that are on that XVR that keeps recording adds a little bit of peace of mind if somebody is to take out the 32 channel like if they vandalize the 32 channel you've still got hypothetically you know eight or 16 cameras that are still recording and they think they've taken out the system can you use a different manufacturer's NVR to do this. Not with the interview, at least. Not that we have found. Can you do this with a 16-channel NVR? Not that we have found. No. We have tested it, and there's just no way to add the, the cameras. Like, there's no way for that to, to function, unfortunately. Now, those are the questions that we get asked the most. I mean, it, if you have questions about this process, leave them in the comments below. It. We'd be happy to answer them. Or uh, possibly somebody that's watching this that knows more than we do, they can answer that for you. So that is going to do it for this one. Uh, please, if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments below. If you found this useful, interesting, helpful, whatever, consider subscribing. We are going to be putting out more content soon i promise everything has just been really hectic over the holidays hit the like button notification bell things of that nature that every youtuber says to their audience and we will see you on the next one thanks